Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do a beautiful little sunset painting with a little bit of snow in the foreground. I think it'll be really fun. And of course, if you're enjoying these, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more painting videos. Let's get started. We'll start off today here with a two-inch brush and a little bit of our yellow, red, and a touch of white just to lighten it up some. And with this color, let's go ahead and start right in here somewhere. I have a white medium clear gel. It's really clear gel and white. Titanium white makes a white medium. I have that on the top of the canvas here. The bottom is dry. So there we go. I'm just going to drop in this little bit of yellow here. Okay, that's nice. And then as I come up, touch into some red. And there we go. It's as simple as that. We just work out with color. Getting just a little darker. Maybe we'll go into the blues as we go up. Pretty simple. There. You really make the skies look pretty. Well, when you go to do clouds and stuff. That's where it gets really exciting. For now I'm just basing in some color to work to work with. Now with our filbert brush I'm going to scrub in some basic little clouds up here. And as you can see I'm just using a soft soft purple mix here. A little red, blue, white. Obviously that makes a pretty nice little purple color. All right now as we come away from this kind of middle area and I'm thinking the sun's going to be somewhere over here on the right because you'll notice that the right hand side here is a little bit brighter. So there you go. All right, now maybe right up here somewhere. Let's start getting a little bit of a bigger cloud area. And to me, this is really the fun part of the skies. I'm going to go into a little more blue now. There, so see how we change the color as we go. A little bit of the lighter purple on the bottom, a little bit of the darker on the top. And there you go. You start building out your cloud layers with this, this same kind of technique. Maybe over here it's getting a little darker because, like I said, the, the light's on that side. And that's another way you'll sort of make that effect a little nicer. Pick a light source and stick with it. It's one of the best things you can do in a painting. Just sort of stick with your light source. All right, there we go. We're going to highlight this in just a few minutes, but I'm just going to spend a little bit more time sort of working on the details here. A little bit of pink right under that cloud. Now I'm going to drop in a beautiful little light area here to these clouds. Simply just a little bit of yellow and white on a filbert brush. And see how I just rub it right in? Wipe your brush, reload. Always remembering to wipe your brush. If you don't, oh boy, that paint is going to be, well, it's not going to be very bright. There you'll end up with a pretty muddy pile of paint very quickly. So unless you're interested in a muddy sunset, and I don't think you are, <laughs> then we should probably really keep an eye out on the brush. Make sure that, you know, make sure it doesn't pick up too much of this paint. <laughs> there we go. This is fun. All right, set that brush down. Grab a little detail brush, pick up some yellow. And right in here somewhere, I just want to brighten this area. Oh yeah, make that crazy. There we go. So bright. Just developing light source. It's a lot of fun to play around with the light. Now, as you can see, I have a basic sketch here, a couple of rocks, maybe a river, and some trees. So now I'm going to take this very soft brown, just a little brown, yellow, red, and white, just because that's happened to be what was on my palette and available, and that's what I grabbed. So anyways, it's a nice color, so we're going to use it. And I'm just going to scrub in well, it'll end up being little tiny trees back here. See how crazy soft they are? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there, a lot of fun. I'm just going to work these trees up from here. See that? I just, I don't want a ton, and I don't want the standard, you know, stamp tree line. I want something a little different today because there's not a ton of elements in our painting. There really isn't. It's a, I mean, it's an interesting enough painting, but there's not a ton of pieces to it. So... I'm going to try to enhance some of the interest of it by just doing something different. There. Make that one a little bigger. Good. Next, I'll load up our little three-quarter brush here with some white and yellow. And as you can see, I threw just a couple of, a couple of darker trees in, a couple of stick trees, all sorts of good stuff back there, just to help with the variety is all. All right, now. I'm going to take this yellow and white mix and just simply bring it across what I think is going to be water down here. This area is dry, so it's going to be pretty tricky to cover up the canvas, but believe me, your hard work will pay off in like five minutes. 
because it won't blend so bad. It won't be so muddy. There, okay, so I'm throwing the yellow down first because the yellow is the only thing that I really care about. The rest, of it, if it gets contaminated or darker or a little bit muddier, it doesn't make much difference. There, now I'm gonna quickly change here to a little bit of red. i just throw some red into that pile, why not? See what that does for us because, you know, look, it kind of matches the sky. And I'm just gonna do this. There, and then once everything down here is wet, then we'll blend it just a bit, very lightly, not much, really just a, a couple strokes of blending and then you'll have a completed water area. Touch of brown and black. And I'm anticipating these rocks are gonna be brown. So we'll throw some of that in the water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and scrub on just a little bit of brown into this rock. Actually, we should throw a little bit of black into our brown. So we're not using just straight brown. There we go. It'll give us a, oh, actually, let's leave some of these variations in here. That'd be pretty. There you go. See, this is kind of the way you have to paint. You have to paint real loose and you kind of just have to figure it out as you go along and don't stress out about anything because it's just not gonna help. There. All right, let's go back to our brown. Touch of yellow. Wipe out the brush, watch this. Just go with a lighter, lighter coat of paint right here. We can do that. There you go. I'm just gonna repeat this process over here and maybe a little on the other side as well. Next with a soft purple color here on the filbert brush, I am going to work on our well, little snow bank up here. Now today, I'm going to really make this look as much, well, like a kind of a tall area as I can here. There, because I just simply think it'll fit with the landscape. And I like that idea of having a, you know, a bit of a drop off here. And we're gonna cover this with snow. We'll put some snow on the rocks and things over on this side, but maybe not quite as much. Maybe, you know, this is a little flatter here. And so it collects snow better than the other area. Good, obviously don't overdo. And if you leave some of these areas just blank, it'll be very easy to cover with highlight. You do want to paint them. You don't want, obviously don't want to just leave the canvas showing, but you know, you'll be able to get a very bright highlight out on it. Super easy. There. Make sure you give it a lot of red in this underpainting. Uh, otherwise it won't fit with the sunset. It has to be like this beautiful purple, not like a blue today. Now with the nice soft yellow and white color on our filbert brush, I'm going to simply throw in some of these highlight areas. And it's gonna be pretty easy here because I'm simply covering up white. It's easy to cover up a dry white canvas. There. After I do all these little highlight areas, then I'll take this brush and allow it to become just a little bit dirty with the other color around it. And I'll blend these together. Obviously you don't want any white canvas showing. There. You can even you can even do highlight out over the over the purple, but just look, see how it mixes more quickly. So just keep that in mind. There we go. Too much fun. This is a simple little well, it seems simple. There's a lot of color changes and things happening. But it's just a soft little beautiful scene, and I'm enjoying working on it here. Now we're gonna move on to these little trees back here. I'm just gonna touch them very lightly with a little bit of a soft purple color. This is our shadow snow areas. And it really helps to make this whole painting, at least the background here, come a little closer. Obviously the, this should be done mostly to the trees that are dark because those are the ones that are close. They're not too much paint and that way you won't get a big buildup. It'll just be soft. We don't want a big buildup of paint today. Good, we'll move right over here. Maybe this little guy over here gets some, not a whole lot. There, see that? You can always add a little more later, but I think for now, let's move on to the little detail round and a little bit of white and yellow. With that, actually, let's go right over here. I'm just gonna layer on carefully, a little bit of bright snow. The reason I wanna use the detail round is because it's softer than the filbert brush and it tends to layer over instead of cutting through the paint. With the dark color, it doesn't matter. With the light color, oh, it's important. I want this nice and bright out here. So that's the reason. Now with our filbert brush, let's go ahead and just drop in a big tree up here. Now this big tree is really gonna help to kind of enhance the foreground a bit. 
And right back here, I just smudged a little bit of brown and black because I think I was looking at it overall. It was so just too perfect. <laughs> so we're going to break it up and I'm going to show you, show you just a little bit of, you know, maybe some, well, some, I think those are like bushes or sticks that are piled up. Who knows? But we're going to throw snow on top and I'm going to throw little branches and I think it'll be really cool. All right. So anyways, let's work on this tree though for a while. Bring that limb up and bring a couple out like that. I don't want them too thick, but it does need to be just thick enough, you know, that it seems realistic to the height. A little thicker here. There. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> and watch this. Oop, a little dead branch. Now before we get too carried away on that tree, I want to just spend a little bit of time here on the background because I don't want to accidentally go over the tree once it's finished. It just saves a little bit of time that way. I'm just going to simply tap on some snow to these bushes or piled up sticks or whatever this is. There. And you know, there's oftentimes a lot of things buried in the snow. And that's kind of what we're represent representing. I really don't care if people know what this is. In fact, maybe they won't even, maybe it'll just look like rocks. Who cares? Doesn't matter. There. It's okay if it gets muddy, just a little muddy. Drift some of that snow right up. Maybe it is. Maybe it's like a dirt mound. <laughs> All sorts of possibilities. Let the viewer decide. I'm not here to tell the viewer everything. There. Good. Take a little bit of white. And think about just a bit of... Oh, that's a lot of white. <laughs> Whoa. Don't want to go too crazy with the white. There's a little bit of snow piled up. So I'm going to kind of give it some texture like this. By tapping and letting my brush kind of leave fuzzy edges. That's good. Now with our detail brush, I'm going to simply drop in here a little bit of yellow, white, and brown on the edge of these rocks where it's going to catch the sunlight. See that? These are like little tiny cliffs or something like that. See, they're very straight. That's cool. All right. Now obviously it's going to mix, so put it down first where you want it to be the brightest and then work out from there. It'll sort of automatically get more, more dull in color that way. Cool. Maybe just a bit down here, less down here because this is sort of not in the, not in the center area of the painting. We're going down toward the edge here. So it's going to get darker so that we don't draw too much attention to this area. There we go. Now we'll kind of finish up this painting here by adding just a few little details. I'm going to use the round brush to just add in some highlight here to oh, some bushes or tall grass, whatever. This, this obviously bushes right here, but maybe we'll do some tall grass as well. There we go. All right. It didn't take a whole lot of this and just here and there. Don't want to do it over the entire thing or kind of be a little distracting, I think. Good. All right. Well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.